Well, Thursday marks the official start of summer, but the hot temperatures have been with us for a while now. And for a good reminder for drivers to not leave their kids or pets in the car. Good day, Oklahoma's Ryan Stockett found out the main cause of hot car deaths and how to stay safe. According to nonprofit Kids and Car Safety, Oklahoma is one of the worst states in the country for hot car deaths, ranking number 11 in the nation. We've documented at least 30 children that have died from hot cars in the state of Oklahoma. Amber Rollins with Kids and Car Safety says most hot car deaths happen when the parent or caregiver loses awareness that the child is in the backseat with them. About 55% of hot car deaths happen when a child is unknowingly left. A lot of times it's a sleeping baby. I reached out to EMSA to learn what people can do to make sure they don't make such a mistake. Anytime you get out of your car, even if you know it's not something you would normally do, just make a habit of turning around, looking behind you making sure that you're getting everybody out of the car with you. To help you develop that habit of opening the back door and looking before you lock every time, Rollins says to put an item that you cannot start your day without in the back seat. If you work on a laptop, that'd be a great thing to put back there. Or the key card to get into your work building. Uh, another thing parents can do, another layer of protection, grab a reminder item, put that in the back seat. Rollins says that whenever you buckle your child into the car seat, to move that reminder item to the front seat as a visual cue. Gage Holloman with EMSA says that no amount of time in a car is safe for kids or pets to be left there, especially when air conditioning is not on. Running into a liquor store and you can't take your kid with you in, so people think that, you know, oh, it's, I'll be right back. Um, it's not a big deal. He says to instead make plans. Find somebody that can watch them while you go run those errands. And that was Ryan Stockett reporting. We have a link to that study on our website.